Fireblaze, Peon and Will versus Arcadian, Thurkle and Short. And right off the bat, lots of pressure being applied on either side. It looks like Art wants to go in on top of Will. In the meantime, Varesh is trying to duel that Jumong away, but it looks like Jumong's having a decent time with that. It's going to get forced away, though, thanks to a great bubble placement right there from the Older. Older being forced to space back, and so does Peon. Peon actually landing the panic on top of Rygon. Lots of damage being applied on top of Rygon right now. The other side gets forced from Polomo, and a great M2 from Turkleton right from downtown. Will be able to secure the orb for the blue team. Reinitiating right on top of that Plomo. Arcaden trying to duel the 1v2. In the meantime, Will is starting to do the same, but he's not able to do much pressure. And they're able to actually do some decent damage on top of Arcadian. Down to a quarter now. Fireblaze is looking for the hard punish. And he almost single-handedly picks him away from the map. Right now, though, has to be careful. His position is a little bit awkward. Paloma completely away from him. Gets silence. There goes the Thorn ultimate. But he's going to hit the... Farish Connor, which pushes him out of the ultimate, and in the meantime, Arcadian is doing a great job at dueling this Palomo away. Palomo with no cooldowns right now. Arc is looking for the finishing blow, and he's gonna get it. There he goes. Three versus one for Will, pretty much unwinnable at this point. Valiant effort, nevertheless. And man, what what a counter hit right there. <laughs> that could have been that I think that, that could have been a round decider there, unfortunately, though. Pushing him away from that Thorn ultimate. And Jumong not being able to reposition with his Paloma. Trying to go all in on that Rygon kill, but not quite able to do so. Peon, with no way to re reposition, just got forced away right there and into a duel with Rygon, which is never ideal. Round number two, as blue team is up by one round. The Reign of Arrows right off the bat is going to force Rygon back a little bit. He's going to try to space right on top of that Jubong. He's going to reflect the M2 right on top of his face, allowing him to farm quite a bit of energy pretty early into this round and actually able to bring down Jubong already down to half HP. Great pressure from the Jubong right now. The silence comes in from Varesh as well. Great follow-up from Turkle. And now looks at the positioning from the blue team pretty good right now. And a great bubble comes out from Older to allow them to secure that orb. Rygon is going to reinitiate right on top of Jubong once again. Down to a quarter now and so is will there goes the combined powers the husk is going to negate some of the damage but will it be enough the entangle is going to push Rygon away a little bit and in the meantime other side gets forced on peon because fresh was doing work with those judgment sprucks and look right now we have the duel between arcadian and fireblaze but it looks like fireblaze is having the lesser end of that almost dying to the Rygon right now just one little r will finish things off the other side gets expanded no cooldowns are available and finally he'll be able to secure that kill and it looks like they're not going to be able to trade this one whatsoever dominant dominant round from blue team here actually Nah, not quite. They might have... I, I thought for a sec, Rygon might have fell there and bring it to a 2 versus 2 but not quite. Comebacks in Valorant are extremely rare. I actually had Bocato talking to me about that the other day, and apparently they did a stat where less than 0.1% of comebacks are not cross kills. So any 2v3 that is 1 is 99.9% .9 of the time a cross kill, right? Meaning that, uh, like, they kill each other within, like, a couple seconds of each other. So round number three, two to zero is the score. Blue team pretty dominant so far. That Rygon pressure was just a little bit too much for Jumong to handle. And again, it's going to go in onto that back line. It's going to space in. In the meantime, Will's trying to do his best at doing the same thing. But Varesh, silences are just a little bit too much. Peon is not able to keep up. But in the meantime, this time around, Jumong completely destroying Rygon into the one versus one. He's down to a quarter. He gets panicked away. The last M1 from August 21 will secure the kill. And Rygon falls. And now this looks like a pretty hard two versus three situation for them. That's it's not winnable for them, and what a round Jumong single-handedly winning that duel with the Ju with the with the Rygon rather, and they were not able to uh, to trade on the other side unfortunately. So really, really good job by him right there. This round turned completely different from the last one, and Rygon falling actually pretty quickly there. That's the danger. Yeah, Rygon is great and all. If you catch him without cooldowns, oof. And they don't have a Paloma to bring him out of troubles. Arc is used to have, having an, a Lucy, a Paloma, or an Iva when he goes Rygon, right? And he has nothing in those. Yeah, I guess he does have the Varesh shield and or the older ultimate, but those are the only two tools that kind of can help him get out of trouble, so to speak. Oof, rough start for Arc right here. He's going to miss this space. He's actually going to go right on top of Thorin this time around, but a really early other side is going to prevent any damage whatsoever being applied, and they're able to trade quite decently against the backline. Actually, Jumong taking the brunt of that down to a half already, 
and the counter goes to waste as well. Will is doing a great job this round. Good bubble though from Older. Nevertheless, it was not enough because Red Team is actually able to secure the first orb. There goes a great stone glass though from Older to prevent Jumon from channeling that ultimate. And in the meantime, Paloma right now getting pretty much destroyed by Varesh. Varesh is pretty low himself, but he was able to bring down Paloma to half, so great job by him as the Thorn Ultimate goes down. Varesh R was available, though, so he's not going to get much value, but he will be able to secure the orb. Double Reign of Arrows goes down. Ragon right now looking for an opening to try and deal damage, but Jumong is just applying the pressure. A great trap is actually going to force him to space away from himself. And now Red Team with a great position and a great health advantage, really in a great position to secure this fourth round as Decent damage being applied on top of the Thorn here is going to have to be careful. And there goes the older ultimate, but the Barb Husk was available. And so was the other side. Nevertheless, during all that, Red Team was able to actually secure the orb. And a lot of cooldowns were wasted on the other side. And a great Ancestral Spirit from Ground and Peon there is actually going to secure them the kill on top of Arcadian. And then really, really convincing round from Red Team once again. Those ultimates at the end just pulling through for them. It looked a little bit shaky for a couple seconds there, but it didn't matter in the end. been so good. Holy fuck. 2-2 two to two is the score. We're even, folks. It could go either way at this point, but Red Team with the momentum right now because they have won the past two rounds as both teams melee is trying to apply the pressure onto the backline. Jumon going onto, uh, onto the Rygon and Thorn going onto the Varesh, but actually getting traded a little bit away from them. Forcing the space on top of Alder is actually going to try and go and duel him away. In the meantime, though, Arcadian doing some great pressure on top of the Paloma. He's actually going to stick right on top of Varesh. Varesh comes in with a great Shatter. Great crush, rather, the X Shatter actually right there. Proccing the silence and se separating the Jumon from his Paloma and Blue Team with a really good round actually applying pressure on top of the thorn as well everyone getting their shaft damage right there and right now they're just looking for one little mistake to finish things up looks like it's on the other side that they found it because they were able to apply some great pressure on top of the Varesh but not quite enough only down to half there goes the ancestral spirit and they have no answer oh they're going to fall down to a quarter great ultimate from the Paloma there there goes the ultimate but it gets reflected unfortunately the reflect will not connect nevertheless mitigating quite a bit of damage there with a single ability it could still go either way. Both teams actually falling pretty low right now. Great damage being applied onto Thorn. He's actually going to space in. The Husk is still available. There it goes. It's going to go in. But the Stone Glass is going to be out. It's actually going to force the Petrify. But in the meantime, Alder gets bursted away from the Jumong. Just completely obliterated. I, I thought he would survive that, but I guess he just didn't. And it looks like Red Team will actually be able to clutch this one. Great space from Jumong right there to negate that combined power from the Varesh. Now Varesh sitting between a rock and a hard place into the top left side of the map. Actually going to fall there to the pressure. And wow. Red Team, they're just coming back into this game right now. The momentum really into their favor, losing the first two rounds, but taking the last three in a really convincing fashion. So will Red Team keep the train rolling? Or will a roadblock from Blue Team come in and block that hype from going through? Because right now, they're looking solid. Standard opener, Varesh Connor goes to waste. Thorn's gonna space in and so will Rygon. Looks like both teams will be trading to the backline, but the other side will be used by Peon to try and reposition, but looks like Rygon wants to keep sticking onto him. Looks like it wasn't the best decision because Rygon is already down to half and look at Thorn, he's still sitting quite healthy. You can really see the difference here between the melee straining with the backline. Every time one gets the upper end, it's pretty much around the cider very early into the surround because I don't see Blue Team coming back from this one already. Rygon already forced to be playing onto the back foot. Actually able to do some decent pressure, but look at the cooldown advantage that Red Team has right now. Great XM2 from Wheel right there, almost securing the kill on top of Rygon. Not quite getting it though. The combined powers will apply a little bit of pressure, but it's not just not enough. And finally, Turkle will fall. And there goes the Dragon Slayer, securing the orb and the kill. Triple match point for Red Team right now. Blue Team is going to have to find what they were doing right in the first place, or what they are doing wrong right now, if they want to bring it back. Meaningful commentary. They have to kill the enemy team. I think that's what they're doing wrong right now. They're just not doing enough damage. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Alright. 
Let's get back. 42 is the score right now. Triple match point for red team. Again, Rygon's gonna go in. This time around, landing the space onto Jumong, but forced back pretty early already as Thorn is applying the pressure on top of the order. The husk gets expanded pretty early, and Varesh will be able to connect Judgment, but he's gonna get entangled right afterwards. Ooh, Thorn getting a lot of shield out of that double space right there as the bubble comes out to try and negate some of that pressure from the back line, but it's not gonna do much. A great panic from Paloma there is gonna force the Varesh away. The orb is gonna get pushed away from that crush. Great job from the Varesh, but it actually gets stolen from the XM1 from Jumong. Great job from August 21 right there to steal the orb away a lot of energy and cooldowns were expanded for that this could give been a huge advantage into this round there goes the old tam tribal it's gonna connect but it's not gonna do that much Paloma will be able to get out of that one and in the meantime Arcadian falling pretty low himself but not that much true damage was done blue team coming quite strong into this round back and they need this orb right now and they actually will be able to do that great positioning from Arcadian right there to put the parry in front of the orb to prevent that from connecting and right now they're looking for some punish game they need to waste some cooldowns Thorn is going to go in forcing the space onto short this could be dangerous but the stone glass goes out and they have nothing for it there it goes the combined powers is going to connect one hits two hits that's on Jumong the prowl is forced and the essence for all spirit as well ground up here and misses the panic he gets silenced and that's going to be it folks pull him out of this game in a three versus two right now looking really grim for them as the space from Jumong connects the second kill goes in that's going to be it and wow finally the momentum might swap back into blue team's favor the train has been stopped they need to do it two more times to bring this game back four to three is the score still a double match point for red team All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to this best of five, best of nine, rather. Three versus three in-house game hosted by the Syrian. We can see here the red team leading with four rounds to three, and already the red team doing a solid start this round. Look at the damage being applied on top of the Varesh right now. They're doing a great job at that, but they're also retaliating and came on top of that Paloma. But there goes Jumong with the big damage. Ragon down to a quarter already. Red team trying to grab the way, the orb away, and the bubble will not do much. They're looking really solid this round, but though Jumong gets a little bit in the bad spot, but the other side will keep him out of harm's way. Thorn. She's gonna keep the sticking on top of that older, forcing the space away as Arcadian trying to retaliate onto that backline, but he's forced away. Other side is forced away as well, though, so Red Team's, Red Team's gonna have to be careful here. But there goes the ultimate from Older. It gets cancelled once, not from Older, from Thorn, rather. He's gonna be able to secure the orb from his team there, and Arcadian is forced back once again. There goes the time travel. Will he get value? No, he won't. But he did force other side and Prowl single-handedly with a single cone down. Look at the damage. We can play on top of the Prowl right now. It might be enough to get the kill. Will it be enough? No, Rygon almost falling himself. The time bomb might be enough to get the kill. Actually, no, the other side comes back in the nick of time. Actually, staying alive and night right now. Jumong is trying to get the kill on top of the older. He might be able to. Older spaces down. He's going to finally get Q back. But look at Varesh. He might fall as well. There he goes. The Rain of Arrows will pick it up. And finally, Red Team will secure the kills that they need. And they will lock it down 5-3. to three.